What's up everyone, welcome back to the Up channel. My name is Mickey. In this video, I'm gonna share with you why having Wi-Fi throughout your entire warehouse is an absolute necessity when it comes to implementing a warehouse management system. Now you're probably like, Mickey, I wasn't anticipating that I had to get a Wi-Fi. Why do I have to do that? I cancel, I'm out. <laughs> Listen, buddy, I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm sure it's frustrating to hear that now you've gotta wire up your whole warehouse and get this Wi-Fi system. But look, having Wi-Fi is the only way that you will ever be able to maintain a live inventory. Now you may be like at this stage, no, it's not that important to me, but you have to ask yourself, why are you reaching out to a WMS system in the first place? What are you really trying to solve? Now, if you're anything like my customers, you're trying to solve the problem of your warehouse not having the most accurate inventory. And having the accurate inventory is gonna help you with your purchasing, with your committed sales orders, with your transfers, with your traceability, with your first in, first out, eliminating expir expired product. It's gonna help you with a variety of things that more than, more than likely are what account for the expense of this WMS system in the first place, right? Solving these problems is what's really gonna propel your business to the next level. And without a Wi-Fi, you honestly don't get any of those things. So what do I mean? Let me give you an example. Let's say, hypothetically, in a hypothetical world, I own a warehouse, and within one of my picking bins, the bin from which my warehouse individuals grab product, I'm supposed to have 10 cases of potato chips. Now, our warehouse, we don't operate in a vacuum, right? We've got multiple employees doing different things. So let's say one employee for the argument of this conversation, we have that person picking product, and we have this employee over here counting the bins, to ensure the accuracy of the bin location. So, for example, let's say that we've got 10, again, 10 cases of those, of those um, potato chips. So the first employee comes in, and the first employee has an order on his gun for five cases of potato chips. He arrives at the bin, okay? He picks his five cases. His gun is now reading that there should be five cases remaining within that picking bin. Okay, so far so good, right? Now the second employee comes through. Now bear in mind, this is something that's happened to me in real life 10 times, but the second employee comes through, he walks up to the bin, and in his handheld he says, huh, there's supposed to be 10. <laughs> Remember, there's no connectivity between the two handhelds. One person was able to pull the product off, and now the second one's about to count. So let's say he walks up and he counts three. Wow, guys, he just made an adjustment of minus seven on his gun, whilst the other employee had already deducted five from the bin location. Isn't that insane? But it doesn't really get any of that, it doesn't really get that crazy until the end of the day when both employees transmit those transactions. The first employee's minus five transaction hits, it decreases the inventory from 10 to five, right? But now the second employee's transaction hits, and because it was an adjustment of minus seven, it decreases the inventory from five to minus two. And just like that, guys, your inventory is completely messed up. Just because the system didn't execute the transactions in sequence, the inventory can no longer be accurate, right? The inventory needs to have the transaction apply itself to the on-hand value on the spot. Because if it doesn't, then you run the risk of the two transactions double discounting your inventory whilst not taking into account that the other user was transacting against that location as well. So, at this point, you're probably like, Mickey, what are you talking about? I don't understand anything you're saying. You sound stupid. <laughs> Listen, man, I'm with you. I, I, I know that I've gone off on 10 tangents on this video. The bottom line is, you need to have a system that execute the transactions as they occur on the spot. Otherwise, you can't have multiple users doing something from a warehouse because over time, your inventory will become drastically incorrect. Like, I'm talking to the point that you will have to do a physical inventory every single month, and we both know how difficult it is to do a physical inventory. So if you wanna avoid all those headaches in the first place, just spend the money, man. If you're already gonna spend the X amount of dollars to get the implementation done for the warehouse management system, get the Wi-Fi as well. I've seen quotes on the Wi-Fi systems for 10 grand, I've seen them for 20 grand, 30 grand, whatever they may be, but you're trying to solve a much bigger problem for your business. You're trying to grow from maybe 10 million to 50 million. You're not worried about 30 grand or 20 grand. Just do the right thing for your business, man. Get Wi-Fi in your warehouse with your WMS system. Look, I hope that you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, scroll down below, give me a thumbs up, give me a subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you next video. Take care.